guys, it's Bishop here with a new vlog to tell you about my weekend, the 8th and the 9th. Yesterday, I woke up early, I let my wife sleep in, hung out with my son, played with him, went, got lunch, got some KFC. I went to Starbucks as well, got her her favorite coffee. I actually forgot a coffee cake there, so that was a poor move on my part. I hung out a little bit, got ready. I went to the Reds game yesterday with some buddies from college, and in fact, one guy I hadn't seen since 2011, so it was really good to see him. The guys that I went with were all guys from um, broadcast journalism, so a lot of them I hadn't, we hadn't all been together for multiple years, so Reds game was good, first inning, a grand slam was hit, which is rare for me to see because I rarely go to baseball games, maybe one a year. I'm a Reds fan, but I'm not a diehard fan by any means, but it was good catching up with them. It rained though all game, but we got free hats, which was awesome, so it was good just to hang out with those guys and chill. Then we went to uh, Christian Moorline, a nice eatery place downtown Cincinnati. Um, I don't drink beer anymore, so I just got a Diet Dew. They had Diet Dew, so you know I went through about four or five of those. Got some poutine, and then after that, I went to an engagement party for my sister-in-law who got engaged. We went to a place called Rheingeist. Again, didn't drink, but just got a bunch of water, uh, which was good. Ate a bunch of good food uh, that everybody kind of brought their own food. And so it was good to eat, played a little cornhole with some friends, and then came back here. Two of our friends came back with us. We just kind of chilled here. Then this morning, I did not sleep good last night until this morning. I've been in a grumpy mood all day. And, I just don't know why I didn't sleep good. I probably only slept three hours or so. Kept waking up, real to settled. After waking up this morning, hung out with our son, hung out with my wife a bit. Then we went over to our friend's house to watch the Browns game. My buddy is a uh, diehard Browns fan. Unfortunately, the game ended in a tie. Uh, we were pretty much speechless. So it was three guys, me, my buddy Mark, my buddy JR, and then another guy came uh, later. and We just watched the game. Um, eat some snappy tomato pizza, big snappy fan. Drink some more Diet Dew, uh, just kind of hung out. So after the Browns lost, we saw the Bengals. I'm more of a Bengals fan. They won, which was exciting. Then came back home. Some of my wife's family came over. They're playing the game right now. I went out in the woods, chopped down a tree, actually chopped down multiple trees to clear a spot for the pup-up course that I built. Then did about 15 minute ride on the uh, the bike, the standing bike, whatever it's called, uh, while I had some of the Green Bay uh, Chicago game on. Now I'm going to bed early. Huge news from this weekend, Kentucky football snapped the streak of the Gators. They have lost 32, 33 consecutive uh, games. Hadn't been since, I think, 1979 since they beat them in Gainesville in the swamp. Super excited for the program. I used to work covering them up until this year. And so um, to see some of those guys, juniors, seniors especially, that I've been covering the past several years, super happy for them. It's been a good weekend for football. I mean, Kentucky won, the Bengals won, Browns tied. Um, but the NFL kicked off Thursday night. I was super happy that the Eagles won, uh, Carson Wentz and uh, Foles. I've only heard great things about them and their faith, and so I actually pull for the Eagles a lot. Hashtag fly, Eagles fly. Um, so I was happy they won. So that was a good way to start the NFL season. But let's get into the Bible study of the day. Behold a God seated on his throne. Come let us adore him. Behold. So a quick Bible study today. The verse that I studied uh, today was out of 1 John 4, 4, little children, you are from God and you have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Great reminder, devotional out of anxiety, fear, um, and obtaining peace. And it, just a great reminder that he has overcome Satan. Jesus has defeated Satan on the cross. He is, the victory is in Christ. I shared that verse the other night that the world no longer has a grip or chains on us if we are in Christ or if we are in God, God has overcome Satan, the ruler of this world, the prince of the, this world. Therefore, no matter what the world throws at us, we have overcome it in Christ. So don't forget that. Keep your mind on heavenly things. Keep your mind on Christ winning. Keep your mind on loving one another. Keep your mind on biblical principles because all the fears and worries and anxiety that this world can cause, if he is in you, remember he is greater than he who is in the world. Lean on Jesus.